Have you ever wondered why we say men and feet in English instead of mans and foots? This video is going to be a quick explanation of that. So, languages like English, German, Norwegian, and Swedish, and Dutch, and they all come from a single ancestor called Proto-Germanic. We don't have any actual written evidence of this language, but it's really the only explanation that makes sense for how they're all so closely related. We know what it was like because we've compared all those languages and reconstructed it. I'll have a video on how linguists do comparative reconstruction coming out soon, um, but in the meantime, you could go in the description where I've put some of Simon Roper's videos about it. They're quite good. So in Proto-Germanic, the plural form of words was quite regular. There was a lot of declensions and grammatical gender and case marking, but they were all really predictable for the most part. Some examples include the word for man, singular mon, plural monus, the word for full, singular hulos, plural hulianon, and the word for lice, singular lus, plural lusis. Um, in changing the number really just meant taking the root noun and adding a different suffix. So in the very late stages of Proto-Germanic, as it began to lose mutual intelligibility between its dialects and split into different languages, a sound change began to happen in all of the descendant languages except for Gothic. This started around 4-500 AD. So back vowels would change into their associated front vowels if the next syllable contained an E or a Y sound. So this change is called Germanic umlaut or I mutation. The reason this happens is because the E sound is kind of dragging the vowels in the preceding syllable closer to it. So it was just easier for Germanic speakers to say like I or A than OI or OI. So in Old English, this means the vowels U, U, and A would turn into E, E, and A. Um, those first two were usually changed into something like e, but it is a bit debated. So, the evolution of those words I mentioned earlier into modern English would be as follows. And keep in mind, there is other syntactic and morphological and whatever changes happening while this change is happening at the same time. Mon, man, 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 monis, moon. Men, men, men. Fullos, full, full, full. Fulliano, fillan, fillan, fill. Loose, loose, laus, laus, laus. Lucis, luce, lis. Lice. Lice. You might also wonder about verbs like sing, sang, sung, you know? But the irregularity in those verbs aren't caused by the Germanic umlaut. Those are caused by a system of vowel change in the ancestral language of almost all modern-day Europe 4,000 years ago, Proto-Indo-European. We don't really know where that vowel change system comes from, besides some educated guesses, just because it's, it's so old and we don't really have anything to compare it to, to help reconstruct besides itself. I might make a video about um, the Proto-Indo-European ablaut and maybe internal reconstruction in the future as well. So that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. As I said, I will be making more videos in the days, weeks coming.